What up guys, it's your boy Carl Hewer here, how you all doing and welcome back to another video and as you can tell by the title in this video I am going to be giving you a review of the new Godzilla vs Kong which came out in 2021 and all I can say is oh my god what a film it's the best film I've seen this year I know there's been quite a few films come out but what with the cinemas being shut due to you know I don't want to say because you can get demonetized but so yeah, cinemas are shut, so people are watching films at home now. Um, they're using the likes of Netflix, Amazon Prime, you've got Now TV, you've got Sky Cinema, and on Sky you can also buy the films to rent to watch, which are out of the cinema which were meant to be out of the cinema, but they're doing them through Amazon Prime and through Sky Cinema at the moment. Oh, it was brilliant from the off. Start to finish, and it had you on the edge of your seats all the way through the film. Every twist and every turn had you thinking, what's going to happen next? I absolutely, All the actors and actresses that were in the film were absolutely fantastic. And my favourite part was at the beginning when the, the young orphaned girl sign languaged to Kong and Kong sign language back. Now, I thought that was absolutely fantastic that they did something like that in, one of the, in this kind of film. It was absolutely brilliant. So just to talk a bit about it, in this series, Kong and his protectors undertake a precious journey to find his true home. Along for the ride is Jay, an orphan girl who has a unique powerful bond with the mighty beast, which is Kong. However, they soon find themselves in the path of an enraged Godzilla. Now that Godzilla is not actually Godzilla. They made and a like a robot version of Godzilla so that's the mighty beast however they uh, da, 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 as he cuts a swarm of destruction across the globe the initial confrontation between the two titans instigated by unseen forces is only the beginning of the mystery that lies deep within the core of the planet so yeah the release date for Godzilla vs Kong uh, 24th of March 2021 um, the director was Adam Wingard, I think that's how you pronounce it, and the box office was $132 million. Wow. Now, I've seen all the other Godzilla and Kong films, and it's nice to see these two get together again. And it's just absolutely brilliant to see that Kong does what he does best and helps Godzilla out and helps take down this fake Godzilla um, the scripting and the writing absolutely brilliant like I said my favourite part was the orphan girl who managed to sign language to Godzilla and Godzilla sign language back which was absolutely brilliant and it was good at the end that he finally found his home where he could settle down and just do what Kong does best so yeah that's my um, verdict of the film I thought it was absolutely amazing um, there's been quite a few good reviews going around on the internet about the film um so yeah it's a it's going to be a well it would have been if it was in the cinemas it would have been a box box set pow or whatever you call it, box set hit box office hit sorry it would have been a box office hit he would have had cinemas all over the world packed out to see this film it's absolutely truly truly amazing now, this is the first time I've done a film review, so if you've got any comments that you'd like to leave um, to say what I could have done better with or if it was good or things that I could st talk more about, that'd be, I'd, I, that'd be amazing if you could help me out and um, give me a bit of guidance along the way. I'm just having a coffee while I'm talking to you guys. Um, there is an, another couple of films that I want to do a review on that I've seen in the last couple of weeks, so keep an eye out for that. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. Also, smash that like button. And as always, see you later.